You get a haircut too? Everybody got a haircut. Victory, victory haircut. Please just let us know if you have questions. Who's starting off? Thought I was done. Lance, you got fans on the field, chance of 4 0, 4 0, 4 0. Obviously, a full stadium today. Where's your mind right now about <laughs> processing all that's happening? Um, I think I know what you're asking, I guess. So, uh, um, you know, I'm really, again, I'm really proud of our guys, first of all, fighting through. But, um, to say if there's not a moment, you know, when, you know, every, you know, it hasn't been that long being here, but, you know, we want, we, we know what kind of has happened and what, what we've been through a year ago and different things. Is there a moment when, when before the ball's kicked off and, you know, or, or even during warm ups, you, you, you know, and you see such a huge difference? Um, yeah, it's it's good for the moment. It's good for our university and community. All those different things, and you say it a lot, but then you you got to recognize it when it happens. Um, yeah, there was there was probably times uh, a year ago that when when it was really tough that we'd say, you know, we'll 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 get this thing filled someday, and uh, um, really proud of the way our guys keep keep progressing and finding ways. We talked about your fast starts or lack of fast starts, and then you started pretty fast today. The first drive obviously didn't get points, but fast start, 7-0 lead. I mean, what changed yeah. there, mindset or? No, it's just execution. I mean, there's not like, hey, let's start this one slow or let's just see what happens. And um, we're, we're battling. There's some, again, I give our offensive staff and, and our players great, uh, you know, uh, credit. For, for execution early. Um, we wanted to stay aggressive, uh, you know, so there are a lot of those fourth downs and, and what you see. So did that. Yeah, I think what, you know, we, we, we get stopped inside the one or whatever, and then we, then we turn it over to the third possession, I think. You know, that's, that, that's tough things that, you know, again, you wish you, you, you wish, you, you know, you survive it. Now you got something to really drill. but. Give them credit too. They, I mean, they're physical. They they aggressively attack the football to try to pry it loose, and uh, we did it. But um, both sides, I, I'm kind of glancing here. I apologize, but yeah, we, you know, it was seven all first quarter, I guess. So we're battling. You know, that's part. You know, the only thing that kind of got me in the in the second quarter there with possessions was, of course, they were getting it coming out of the half. So you got to be. You got to watch uh, how that plays out for us to um, get that touchdown before the half. Now, disappointed we gave up the field goal right, right where you know when the half expired. But it's college football today too. You, you can't you, you can't take a breath because somebody's got the ability to, to to make something happen quickly. You guys are now five and two over your last seven games. As the team has one more. Has the reaction to winning in the locker room changed, or how has that evolved over the last um, period of time? That's a that's a good question. I, I don't. I sure hope not. I mean, the excitement. Like here's, you know, we'll, we talk about now. You got to take the field. I think we said it in here. Expecting to win, not hoping to win. But then we talk also. You got to prepare. And you got to plan it out. And then you got to play, and then you got to execute to win. Okay, and. Uh, with that, I, I I don't get into the reaction or the non-reaction. I think it's more about uh, um, when things don't go our way and momentum shifts and it swings that direction, that we're handling that a lot better and understanding that uh, somebody's going to have to step up, make a play, and and get a stop or score points, and and that's great to see. And you mentioned that hoping that one day the stadium would be full again. I guess now that it was, what was that like for you to be on the sideline with a, a packed crowd? Yeah, you know, there's there's only certain times that you really, you know, can can take it in, so to speak, because everything else is about like this. You're, you're kind of operating here. It's it's just like this. This room's a lot more full than it used to be, and and that's and that and that's neat, and that's great for our players and our and our university. 
Um, yeah, it's it's great to hear a different volume, probably if you're asking on third downs and some of those things, and um, and embracing the efforts and and hopefully today's performance uh, gave enough people a, a reason to get back here next week because we'll need them again. What's your evaluation of Jalen's performance today? <laughs> again, another 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 great performance. I mean, you, you watch him; he doesn't get rattled. I mean, they brought the corner blitz that that got us on the sack. You know, it was a good call by them. Um, other than that, but he he went he 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 put the ball where he needed to. I mean, he put some in some tighter windows and good coverage. I thought uh, that part in his decision again, he made plays with his legs. Um, you know, we converted some tough fourth down. I mean, there were calls, but I mean, you know. The, they defended them pretty well, and we so again he just keeps getting better and better, and doesn't and again he doesn't let the moment get too big for him. We we joked about it. You joked about it with us uh, when you said in camp, you know, we expect him to be the starter. Did you expect this though? <laughs> no, I I mean, no, he's playing so well. Um, yeah, I, I did he. Does he have the ability to be a dual threat, you know, high performer? But honestly, I don't spend a lot of time studying the stats afterwards, like QB ratings, you know, because I don't, you know, we make decisions based on what they do each and every day. So, but again, to see at the level that he's playing and how that stacks up when you kind of hear glimpses of it, it it's highly impressive. But uh, our biggest thing is by doing that also, he needs, you know, Making great decisions. Now, you know, to me, head coach and me, I'm, I'm upset that we had to burn a timeout coming off a quarter because something, something didn't get relayed enough. We, we can't do that and not have that in our pocket when we need it. So that's not necessarily him. That's, that's me. That's, I, you know, but, um, yeah, he's done a great job. You had Daniel Hyshaw in the running game have some big plays, but you also had Devin get down hurt, and then Kai looked like he wasn't ready to play today. What's kind of... Big yeah, yeah, yeah. Kai was Kai was emergency only, um, and probably less than that as as we went through warmups. Um, yeah, we lost Devin, and but I thought Daniel really rose to the occasion. You can see his physicality. Um, you know, made a heck of a play on on the on the touchdown on the long run. So um, he carried it. Uh, the load for the most part. We did get Sevy on a few in there. Tory got a couple, and. Uh, Again, it's pretty quick all of a sudden that you look at your depth. You know, we talk about all these guys, and all of a sudden it's like early second quarter, and all of a sudden you're looking going, that's, you know, the, those personnel groupings change, and what can we do? And it, there, there's a lot of adapting going on. And then even late in the game, you know, a lot of teams talk about learning to finish. Yeah. And this is in a situation where these guys have been in a lot. Between the penalties on defense and maybe even that one offensive drive when you couldn't get anything going, is there still a, an effort to learn how to finish a game? Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, I think I said it last time as well. Four-minute offense is still one of the toughest things you got to do. Everybody knows you're running the ball. Now, you can, you can, you know, we wanted to make sure they burned the timeouts. Okay, so, do you, want, you know, again, I can take that on me. It's you still want to make them try to execute without that. Um, so running the risk, throwing the ball, and doing that, um, yes. Um, uh, you know, getting getting those stops and and making those penalties. Yeah, the pass interference. I mean, that's pretty close. I mean, I, you know, you can't just sit back, you know, because then I'm walking in here and you're going, how come you guys are playing so soft and timid and all that stuff? And and the late hit, man, I, I saw the replay. Uh, you know, it wasn't uh, a conference crew, so I, honestly, I don't even know if I can send it in. But I mean, he's making contact. It sure looked like that he was still on the playing field. So at first, uh, from the far side, it looks like, oh no, why? What's going on? But then you saw the replay, and it's like asking a kid to try to make a play. And and so, yeah, penalties probably too many tonight. What do we have? Seven. That's too many for us. So. Coach, Coach, just to circle back to Jalen real quick, uh, mm -hmm. is it fair to the effort that he's putting in? His, his stats, once again, just jump off the page. Is it fair to the effort, the things that he's done so far, that he emerges as a serious Heisman candidate after <laughs> this weekend? 
Uh, that's not for me. You know, he's a, he's a heck of a player. So, yeah, I'm all for it, okay? All right? If Sue's ever running the campaign, let's you know, get it going, okay? That's not um, – I don't vote. I don't do it. But, I, I mean, anybody that's playing at a high level, um, I'd just say this is that uh, I think he's done a heck of a job getting a lot of people to take notice and, and take, take this program seriously. And, and he's a big component of that. Coach, you talk about um, the four-minute offense, some of those penalties. Um, what are some other key things that you know you all have to clean up before you get in the Big 12 play? Oh, yeah, there's some things defensively, communication. You know, there's some things in coverage. Obviously, there's a couple opportunities on, on, on uh, you know, tackling. But like I, I said it all week, they're a physical downhill running team. I mean, I mean they, they, you know, you got to work to tackle them and stuff. Um, yeah, there's some things there and, and giving up some big plays. Um, turn the ball over. I don't think we created any today. Um, but, you know, the the weird thing is I'm, I'm glancing and it's like you, you sit there and you give up points and you do things, but they're five for 15 on third down and, and two for four on fourth down and we're six for 10 and one for two and fourth downs and we know the, four, the one was one stopped at the goal line. So execution in the third down areas, you know, we're doing pretty well and, and we're doing some things. But um, there's plenty to clean up and, and I would actually have probably a lot better answer on specifics um, probably about noon tomorrow <laughs> after I watch it. Hey, Lance, I'm curious in the last few weeks, what have you and your staff seen maybe from reaction or tone from recruits out there? Yeah, um, it's, it's, been, uh, it's been interesting, you know, it's been good getting people again. Talking about it, people are paying attention. They, they they're seeing change. I think uh, you know, we had a large group here today. Um, even some surprises and, and stuff to come in and take it in. And some have been people who have been here before, and they see a change. They see the crowd. They see the excitement. They see the potential of what 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 this program can be, and it's exciting. And and um, you know, it's still going to take some work, but uh, it's it's definitely been different. Um, the last couple weeks on the phone for sure. Coach, you guys go for it on fourth down, both of your first two drives. The first one you don't get it, the second one you do. How big was that? Not only because you put points on the board, but you really expressed your trust in the offense with that. Yeah, you, you know, we could talk a lot about that. You got to be aggressive. I, I, I think in today's, you know, the game has changed in college, but on the fourth down, the philosophies, and, and we're right there in it. Um, and when we're executing at a pretty good level, um, we're confident, you know, I think Andy and, and again and the staff have done a great job where it's like I have one. OK, it's not like all of a sudden let, let me let, let me try to quickly think of something. It's been planned. We know. But uh, a lot of times, um, you know, right after the first down call, I give him what a, what probably the parameters going to be yardage wise if we're going for it or not. So he knows, and that I think that's really helped us with the third down calls as we approach the fourth. Time for one more. What's one thing that you've learned or discovered about this team that you didn't know before the season started? Wow, that's a great question. I don't know if I knew or not, but I, I would say that the continual belief in what we're doing to, for, for when times are tough, the, how we're overcoming those tough moments, that things that we saw um, late last year and you've kind of seen, and, and it's, I've seen it play out um, with body language and, and things of that nature on the sideline, um, probably better than I anticipated at this point. Thank you. <laughs> yes, how's it feel to be 4-0? <laughs> Feels amazing. I mean, you know, to see the amount of excitement that's in that locker room right now and um, uh, the amount of excitement from the fans that are around the stadium right now, it's absolutely, we, we love it. We love it. Hey, Jalen, you have the ability to, to run the ball. Your legs are great. What is the decision-making process of not automatically running but just letting the play develop and making the right read. You know, as a quarterback, you're supposed to want to be able to move the ball downfield through the air. Um, you know, being a dual threat, you know, I have the ability to be able to run. But, you know, at the end of the day, if I get out of the pocket, I'm trying to look to pass the ball downfield because that's where most yards come from.
This might be the, the toughest defensive test you guys have faced all season. How do you feel like you've handled it? You know, I feel like we handled handle adversity very well. You know, that's something that we harped on during the offseason, which is handling adversity no matter what situation it is. And, you know, we were able to come out there and just be able to play Kansas football. What maybe changed in your mind with the rushing attack when Devin got hurt? Um, you know, nothing really changed. You know, we, like I said earlier, we have a lot of guys in that running in that running back room who are able to, you know, make a lot of things happen with the ball in their hands. And I feel like Daniel Highshaw did a great job today with the ball in his hand, and so did uh, Savion Morrison. You mentioned you know, if, someone, if someone would have told you before the season started during fall camp that you guys would start 4-0, what would your reaction have been? I wouldn't say that I would be surprised, but I would definitely say that, you know, it, it's good to know that the amount of preparation that we put in, you know, it's good to see that it's paying off. You mentioned Daniel Highshaw a second ago. Oh, share us your perspective on that kind of rumbling run he went on in the touchdown. You know, I've been seeing him since freshman year. You know, so being able to finally see him get back in his mojo 100% and just be able to make a lot of people miss, you know, be able to run people over, it's just exciting to be able to see him back 100%. And I guess when you see someone doing that, Lance has talked about wanting to be physical. When you see someone doing that, I guess, how much does that help the rest of the offense? You know, I just I feel like it gives the rest of that offense that mentality of, all right, we see Daniel doing it now. Let's keep doing it. You know, physicality is football, you know. So at the end of the day, we're just going to keep on trying to go out there and play physical football. Jalen, 14-0 uh, holes the last two weeks, <laughs> not today. What changed? How did you guys get to a better start? And obviously the first drive was great till the last play of it. You know, we put a big emphasis on starting fast this week. You know, even in our warm-ups during practice, we're trying to start way faster. You know, I feel like the beginning of practice this week was way faster than it was last week, and I feel like it transformed into the field. Did it, did it feel like uh, that drive? I mean, did you feel like you left points out there today? Not just that drive, but, but other drives as well? You know, and it's the game of football. You know, you always feel like you made mistakes and that you left points out on the field. But at the end of the day, if you gave your 100% your all, then you can't, you can't complain. Just go back into the field room and try to clean it up. How did it feel to get that uh, successful drop kick going there? Can I say it again? The, uh, the, the drop kick you did late in the game. I did a drop kick. Oh, 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 I was about to say a drop kick. Hold on. Uh, you know, I was able to punt the ball my freshman year once, and I've just been waiting for them to call that play out again. So uh, <laughs> it felt nice to be able to show that I'm able to do a few more things. Does uh, you, They keep playing that bite. It's a new era. Does that hit a little different now, or does it, will it hit different later in the season? You know, it's something that we've been saying since last season. You know, right after the Texas game last year, Eddie Wilson said it on the camera. Um, and not many people, you know, took that into account. But, you know, I, I feel like – We've been, we've been ha having that mindset. You know, it, it isn't something that's new to us, but it's something that we've been harping on this whole entire offseason. You know, we know what we're able to do, so now we just have to go out there and be able to execute. You know, that you guys have been successful running the ball all season long. That last drive, you go out there and need to, to kill the clock, basically, and couldn't get it done. Do you have any concern about, about that situation you're in, you guys being able to handle that? You know, there was one play where I definitely missed a read. You know, I was able to hand the ball off to Devin Neal on one of those plays, and he would have been running for forever. So, um, you know, that's something that I need to clean up as a quarterback. And there's, you know, like I said, it's the game of football. There's mistakes that will be made, and you have to go into the film room and just clean it up. Jalen, how should the nation view J uh, KU football right now, and what's it like to be viewed nationally now? You know, I just say that we're going to play our brand of football. You know, we're not going to change because anything that's happened outside of these walls, you know, we know what we're doing inside this building every single day, day in and day out, and that's just not going to change. Our, our perspective of getting 1% better daily is not going to change. You're in it was rocking. It was crazy. I mean, to be able to come out there for the intro and then just be able to see the whole entire booth packed out, you'd love to see things like that because that's something that we've been working on. You know, a lot of guys who are older on this team haven't been able to see that for a while. And, you know, to be able to bring that back, bring that type of culture back, we just love seeing that. Jalen, did you lead them out of the tunnel? Yes. Do yes, you I always did. do that? No, I don't. Well, why'd you do that today? Um, honestly, it was just a, it was just a feeling, yeah. you know. Uh, Coach Lifeboy didn't pull me back or anything like that, so I was just like, all right, let, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. I also wonder if you could just talk about your receivers. It seems like you you trust all of them. It looks like Definitely. it doesn't really seem like you're locking in on one guy. You'll throw it wherever the guy's open. I mean, mm -hmm. those guys all played so well today, and. and can you just talk about your trust in them? I just say, you know, it, that trust built over time. You know, a lot of the a lot of the people in that receiving room right now who are getting all the touches right now, we've been here together. You know, we got into we got to KU. We were all graduated class of 2020. You know, there's a lot of guys in that room who we've been working out at Stouffer on the fields and everything, working off all, off campus. So it's just good to finally be able to see that all that work that we've been putting in freshman year is finally starting to pay off. One more thing too, you're, we saw you counting. You're counting here. Yeah. That's you, right? Yeah. I mean, did you premeditate that? Was that just a moment thing? <laughs> it just reacted off emotion. Definitely just reacted off emotions. I think four passing touchdowns for you today. I'm not sure if that's a career high, but 
over the course of the day, I guess, any throws to you that kind of just really stood with you? Um, definitely that touchdown by Daniel Hodgshaw. I mean, <laughs> you know, it's not every day where you throw into flat routes to the running back and then he just breaks out and goes the whole entire way, especially when we're on the other side of the 50. So, you know, being able to see that amount of explosion, you know, just his will to want to get into the end zone, we love to see it. I feel like he's always had faith in our offense, no matter what the situation is. You know, like I said, something that we've harped on over the offseason is being able to handle adversity. You know, we, we can't harp on the last play because at the end of the day, we're not time travelers. We can't just go back and be able to change what happened. So now our focus is on the next play, on the next drive. You know, harping on the past will only get, make you make more mistakes. So if you're focused on the next play, your best, your, your best play should be your next play. And that's exactly the mentality that we went out with.